Hey everyone, I'm Jamie from jamiedelainewatson.com. Today I'm going to be chatting about how you can become a preferred vendor at venues and overall just how you can network with venues and vendors. So let's get started. So how we're going to structure this video today is I'm going to assume that you're already shooting weddings to start and you're already working at a few venues and with a few vendors that you want to network with and then we'll kind of work back and I'll provide a few tips if you're brand new. So if you're already working with the vendors and with venues, there's a few ideas I want to give you right off the bat. First of all, let's chat about why it's important to network with venues and vendors. Well, they can be an amazing source of referrals in your local industry because they are meeting with clients um, who are getting married, obviously. And so that is a crazy targeted market that you should want <laughs> to be a part of and have your name name dropped in those circles. And some of the best advertising um, or marketing dollars and marketing time you'll ever spend. So if you have a list of venues and vendors you want to get to know a bit more and that you would love to have their clients hire you, what I want you to do is I want you to approach those venues. Now, I'm going to chat about this a little bit, but already after every wedding, I want you to be emailing out a selection of images to every vendor you worked with and the venue as well. So that's really important to establish that relationship. And so when you approach them to ask, hey, is there anything I can do to help you? Would it be helpful if I made a beautiful sample album for your waiting room, showcasing your beautiful venue, or showcasing your beautiful floral work or makeup, whatever it is? Would that be something that's helpful for you? The reason I suggest that you ask venues and vendors what they want is that every person or business might be different. Some businesses might say, we'd love to have a gorgeous sample album to put in our waiting room. And other businesses might say, actually, most of our meetings are on the go. We're walking through the venue. It would be a lot better if you could provide like a little tiny flip book or postcard, something like that. So I don't want to spend a bunch of money and time giving something to the vendors that they're not going to use. I mean, that reason is kind of all about me. But second, I don't want the vendors to think, wow, she's being really salesy or we didn't ask for this or and have them feel this guilt over the fact that they're not going to use it. So start with that email and just ask, like, how can I help you? And provide a few examples. And then once you have those um, promotional materials in their venues and in um, in the venues and with those vendors at their businesses, thank them again so much for that. I also recommend that throughout the year, when you think of it, you can check in with these venues and with these vendors and ask, is what I provided helpful? Would you like more postcards? Uh, is that sample album still being viewed? Is it something you want me to make a note for next year? Just kind of touch base that way and establish those continuing um, communication lines so that the vendors have you top of mind and are always thinking about your work and what you could offer their clients. Okay, so that last part was about before the wedding day, if you're currently shooting weddings, but before an actual wedding. Now we're gonna chat about on the wedding day. Now on the wedding day, whether you've worked at that venue before or you haven't, when you enter the room, when you enter the space, I want you to find as many staff members as you can, introduce yourself to them, let them know you're Jamie, you'll be photographing the wedding, if there's anything I can help you with, let me know. Of course, if you've met the coordinator before, <laughs> be sure to remember her name, be sure to find her, thank her for her hard work. And throughout the evening, I want you to watch for opportunities that you can help staff. Of course, of course, of course, your priority needs to be capturing amazing wedding photos, of course. But there's absolutely 30 seconds of downtime <laughs> throughout the evening where if somebody's struggling to like move a table or something like that, you can jump in there and you can help. And that's gonna make a lasting impression not only on the vendors and the catering staff, but also your clients and the guests that are also watching you work. Um, people want to refer helpful people. We wanna be around people who are helpful. So it just seems like an obvious choice to have a win for everybody in the room by helping other people do their jobs better. Now, after the wedding day is when we're gonna follow up, as I mentioned, with all of the vendors and let them know they can see um, their business tags on my blog post and there's a selection of images there for them. I also send along some high resolution images right away for them to use in their social media marketing. Now I've implemented something fun the last couple of years where I get all the Instagram handles of the entire vendor team in advance and then I email out the vendor team a few days before the wedding and then also within a day or two after the wedding with a few sneak peek images. Of course the sneak peeks are only after the wedding. Three to five days before, I'm introducing myself to the vendor team and I'm letting them know that I will be sending these sneak peek images on the Sunday or on the Monday if it's a Saturday wedding. 
and kind of letting them know they can copy and paste these exact Instagram tags for their social media marketing. What's awesome about this is not only are they tagging me, but of course they're tagging every other vendor. So if you kind of can picture this, it means that the florist is going to post a picture of the bride with her flowers. She's also going to tag the venue, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, uh, if the groom's in the photo, you know, the tux company, all of that. So not only am I sharing um, the word about vendors and vendors sharing the word about me, I am empowering other people to share the word about this whole circle of vendors. So if you follow that system, it's going to establish an amazing reputation for your business and your local industry, and you'll become known as a photographer that vendors want to refer. And last note, when it comes to being a preferred vendor on venue lists or other vendor lists, that just comes with time. It comes with implementing all of these things um, of reaching out to them, seeing how you can help, just being helpful on the wedding day and providing images quickly after the wedding day. I also wanted to provide a tip if you're just starting in weddings. It can be tricky to build these relationships with vendors when you haven't had a chance to actually work with them. So I do have a few ideas for you. When I was getting started, I made a list of every single vendor and venue that I wanted to connect with. And then every week I tried to reach out to one or two of them. So this can be something as simple as introducing yourself by email, letting them know what you love about their work, and letting them know how you could help them, and also asking, how can I help you? So you could offer a headshot session for their team. If it's a floral studio, you could offer to do some photos of their studio space. And let them know this is all complimentary, and you just want to help them and make new connections in the industry. And the other key thing on this is to, it's okay to shoot above your level sometimes, but you're going to have a lot more success if you reach out to people that have maybe been in business just a year longer than you, a year or two longer than you. So you're all at that same level. And then you guys can all, there's that saying that a rising tide lifts all boats, ships, something like that. So you can all be lifted up together as you help one another. So it all starts with just being specific with your list of people you want to connect with. And then every week, just make sure you're reaching out, asking people how you can help. When it comes to venues, um, most venues are really happy to have photographers do walkthroughs and meet the coordinator. When you do, bring flowers, bring a gift, bring something like that. Send a thank you card afterwards. Just bless people with gifts and with thank yous. Um, because we, it's not fake. We really want to be appreciative of their time. And I think if more photographers did this, they'd have more ins at certain venues. And so with those venues, you can also ask, may I rent your space for a styled shoot? You could set up a, a session with a bride and groom. And then great, now you have wedding photos at that venue. So there's lots of opportunities that way. Okay, last bit on this. I have um, an email template that I want to give you guys free. It's all about how I communicate with vendors before and after the wedding day, all around those Instagram handles. So you can grab that at jamiedelainewatson.com slash Instagram vendors. And the link is going to be in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching.